Welcome to the Empire, buddy. This is Rampain, and welcome back to my Oblivion Let's Play, where we're going to continue where we left off from last time. Still going through all the Daedra Shrines. Um, I do have a level up right now for us, so we're going to quickly do that first. Um, I need to go into my house and sleep, and then we're trying to talk to Sanguine next. We can't do anything with Namira just yet until I am a revolting husk of an individual, and so I'm going to need to try and find a um, Drain Personality spell. Um, so that I can actually do something about that. Because right now, if I remember correctly, because once we'll, we'll look at this once I uh, get my level up, I actually have a pretty decent personality, and I have to, like, lower it as much as possible to piss them off. Or not piss them off, to have them accept me. And so the only ways I found um, involved doing some of the DLCs. And so once I finish up, because we can do Sanguine, uh, Shiogoroth, and what the hell is this? This is uh, Vitamina. Ah, that's one I've never really heard of. I've never really done much with her. Um, this is pretty okay. It's pretty average. Let's just get Willpower, Strength, and then uh, more Endurance. I'll do that. It's an okay level up. Not the best. At least my spells are still really powerful, so even if my stats themselves aren't the greatest, I can still make some pretty decent spells. But now, now we need to go over to Sanguine and see what he wants. He's supposed to be near Skingrad, like northwest of Skingrad. And so we'll have to just kind of go over there because I'll just like try and go to you guys and make my own way over there. It's supposed to be somewhere like northwest of us. So, ooh, there's another Oblivion Gate there. Let me go grab that. I'm going to quickly just go through it. It's so easy for me to just stealth in and steal everything that I don't really need to showcase these uh, Oblivion Gates anymore, really, for you guys. I don't think so. I'd rather focus on other aspects of this little play. So let me go in here and find another Sigil Stone. There we go. There goes another Sigil Stone into one of my pockets. Uh, what's this one this time? This one, let's see, we got... Uh, ooh, is this Fire on Self? Yeah, that's actually not bad. Not bad at all. Um, let's see, so now... It's gonna be doing this stupid effect again. Um, I think let's just try going west now. We're actually already pretty far north of Skingrad. And so let's try and go around this way. Hopefully eventually I'll get far enough away that the Oblivion storm sounds will stop because it's like, oh, come on, please. It's just being annoying. Oh, uh, I think that's it right up there. Okay, so let's go around and up this hill. Hi, Mr. Bear. I don't care about you. I'm a master of disguise and skill. I don't need to continue killing you all. Let's keep going up this way. I'm curious what he's going to offer to have me give him for an offering. Um, I remember his quest from Skyrim really well. Because that was like the drunken in one, wasn't it? And uh, you had to like retrace your steps, figure out what the hell happened. And then you got Sanguine's Rose, which is a staff. I wonder if they're going to give me that same staff as an upgrade here, as a, like my reward for this quest. I could see that. Let's see, so he's right up. He's right... I can't see it yet. How far away are you, man? Oh, ah, uh, there he is. He's hiding behind the tree. There he is. Okay, so what am I gonna need to give you as an offering? Uh, you don't tell me. You do. Have you come to revel in the glory that is the Shrine of Sanguine? Yes, I have. It is a place of celebration for us. We dance, we make love. Would you speak with Sanguine? Ah, uh, yes, I would. I would speak Approach with him. Approach then, and bring Sanguine a gift. Some syrodilic so brandy. brandy. Okay. Gift okay. For your That's not too difficult to come by. Um. Go. I don't have any on me right now, do I? Do I have any in my house? I don't know if I maybe stored that. It's either I stored it or I sold it. I probably also just try and see if a merchant around here sells it. Technically, I could almost see the like maybe an inn would have it, or maybe a alchemist place would have it. Maybe I could consider alcohol a potion. It cures sorts of ailments. Uh, but let's just see. Do I have it in here? Because I might have stored some of it in here. Uh, oh yeah, no, I do. Cereal brandy. Here we go. Perfect. We'll never know if they sell alcoholic potions <laughs> at uh, Alchemist place places. But here we go. We've at least got that. So let's go back to him and see what he wants me to do. I'm expecting it to be some sort of party. Something related to a party. 
But let's let us raise a toast to Sanguine. Ah, another mortal. Come to beg Sanguine to add a bit of spice to an otherwise drag. Hey, my life is pretty damn good as I the Archmage Assassin Thief Master. I think I'm pretty good, man. The Castle Leowin is a okay. dull, dreary place. The mistress is an especially somber soul, and tomorrow she will hold another excruciating dinner party. Okay. I want you to liven it up. Use this spell on the Countess and her guests. I think it will make the party much more interesting. Okay. You should probably try to be inconspicuous, or they might kill you. Oh, and the party is by invitation only. You'll have to find a way in. Well, they don't have that many issues. Okay. So, Stalk Reality was the spell they added. Let's make our way over to Leowen Castle, and we'll see what we can do. Because I don't, I don't expect it to be that difficult to get in. It's just using the spell and not getting caught. Because what does the te quest text specifically state? So, I have provided the offering Sanguine, believes the council is too stuffy, and he wants me to do something about it. Uh, she'll be hosting a dinner party tomorrow, and I'm to speak, sneak into the castle undetected and cast a spell of Stark Reality on her. Because Stark Reality, what does it specifically do? do, 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 do. Uh, Stark Reality. So, Stark Reality in 300 feet for 120 seconds on target, um, and then drain 1 point uh, and 50 feet on target. Duration. Okay. I wonder, would I be able to make this spell myself now that I have it in here? I don't know if I'm going to get to get to keep it. He might take it away once we're done. Um, but this is a ranged spell, so I just have to cast it generally in an area. I know I can walk straight in here. It's just getting into where they're doing the dinner party might be the issue. So I can just walk right up. What is it? And it seems like... Oh, is this it? How are you? Seems like you, you guys... Oh, fuck off, man. Seems this is the area we need to go to. Now, can I... Oh, I can't open this door? Hmm. Hmm. How can I help you? Something so, can okay. Do. The Elder Council... I have an idea. So what we're gonna do... I have two ideas. Bribe the guard to let me in, or try and see if I can follow them in. So let me just... I'm trying to convince them to walk over here now. Because this is the Countess, isn't it? Yeah, that's the Countess. So I'm going to keep waiting here. And I'll see if, because they're outside right now, if they'll have to start walking their way over there. Yep. Oh, not gonna go in the door. That's well idea. met. Hello. I can't really ask you about anything. Bye. What you? What are you doing here? You don't look like one of the party guests. I don't remember you. Um, let me give just one one second. Don't mind me. Just need to find my invitation. Stop. What are you doing here? Oh, don't you remember me? I'm, I'm well, you're dressed for it, and <laughs> you seem like a really good person. You can go in. See, my invitation works flawlessly. You too. Okay. So we can now go in. Do 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 do. Greetings, Breton. Is everybody gonna? Yes. Uh, Evening. My greetings to you. They say that the oblivion gates of. Let's see, so Stark Reality had like what? It had a pretty long range, honestly. 300 feet. So, I'm going to do this. Close that. Are you sure? Stand over here. And then let me. I'm going to use my invisibility first, just in case. And then let's cast Stark Reality. So, right here. Um Good to see you. Heard any news? There's a psychopath on the loose. Stop! Damn, how'd you guys notice me in this immediately? Oh fuck you, resist Ready? arrest. You can't see me. 
Let's see. So I have succeeded in casting the Stark Rally spell on her and her company. I shall return to the Shrine of Sanguine. Come out where I can see. Find me, guys. I'll pay my debt off later as they continue with their dinner, even though they have been stripped naked. Ah, uh, congratulations, guys. Do I still have the spell? I could just keep casting it on them if I really wanted to. Just keep being a dick. Uh, start. Yeah, I still have this. Woo. Strip everybody down. Everybody down to their uh, uh their undergarments. It doesn't work on the guards. It's kind of annoying. Well, I'm just gonna laugh as I walk away. Don't mind me. I'll, I'll come pay my debt back uh, in a second. Uh, let me just go back to Sanguine first. Hi. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna. I'm just the nudist walking around invisibly. I'm just the invisible man. Don't mind me whatsoever. I'll pay my debt later. I just need to turn this quest in. Leave me alone. Am I supposed to be hey, impressed? Fuck off, man. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go clear this Oblivion Gate just so that I have something to get between me and the guards and kind of reset them. So let's go get this uh, another Sigil Stone. Literally, I'm not gonna put my shit back on. Not yet. I have no. Oh, I don't have anything on me. Oh, fuck you, Sanguine. Oh, well, fuck it. Okay, I'm gonna. Ah. Oh, hi. I'm stupid. Let me get this Sigil Stone and I'll meet you guys at Sanguine's place. This guard literally followed me in here. Well, you just followed me into oblivion. Don't mind me, man, as I'm literally just walking around nude because I have nothing. Thankfully, I can still easily get this because I can just sneak on in. I don't kill anybody. So, also, again, I'll meet you guys at Sanguine's place. Even naked and alone, the Daedra couldn't stop me from getting the Sigil Stone. Oh, I love that. So, literally, the re... Because uh, they took literally everything. You better give me all my shit back, Sanguine. Um, I did get, let's see, it's a resist magic on self or a silence on strike sigil stone, which isn't bad. Now, can I have my clothes back, goddammit? A rousing success, mortal. And it appears you joined in the festivities as well. Good for you. You need to lighten up a bit. Better give me my shit back, man. You'll find your equipment in that chest of Good. Room. And here's a little something for your efforts. Maybe we'll celebrate again sometime. What is it? Okay. Oh, yeah, Sanguine's Rose. Okay, so I did get uh, some undead trying to kill them. Okay, well. All my shit. My gold better be in here, too. My gold better be in here. Good. Good. Everything's. There we go. All my stuff is back. Now, what does Sanguine's Rose, Rose do? Just says Sanguine's Rose. I don't know what that does. Okay, well, let's get my Archmage stuff back on, and then uh, let's have Spell Reflection on right now. Uh, to Blade, Detect Life, Frost Shield, Resist Magic. Uh, no, we'll worry about that later. Elemental Ring. Let's put this back on. Got Battle Mage. What else? God, it's, it's fun remembering everything I was wearing. Uh, ooh, do I want to put that on myself? Mm, what do you know, Magicka? Press speed, light on self, stamina, fortify strength. Do that. I think that's what I'll have on for now. Yeah, I think that works. My stats seem a little bit low. Because we'll have to, we'll switch to the Spellbreaker for sure whenever we're fighting somebody else. But right now, I think this is the one I want most often, is just the straight up reflect damage. Okay, now I'm going to definitely need to try and drop some stuff. Oh, here's Chill Ren once again. Because I don't think I'm going to be using Sanguine's Rose. I'm probably going to drop it off. But is there really... Oh, these are the ones I was using on myself. That's what it was. I wasn't using my boots of shielding. I forgot about that. So that means then, actually, there was the Ring of Strength. I can take that one off, and um, I think it was yeah, the other Resist Magic on Self and Fortify Agility. That's the one I want on right now. Okay, so there's Sanguine's dealt with. So now we have Shia Gorra, which if anybody's been watching my uh, recent um, Daedric Invasion campaigns, 
he is by far like the mastermind of this fucking invasion because of because of how cursed that campaign is. Also, are you guys all dying? Are you seriously all dying to the Yep, you are all dying. All of Sanguine's worshippers are just getting murdered off. Uh and Gorm is straight up dead. Huh. So his followers are now all dead. Um sorry, I was distracted. But uh they'll they'll, they'll party on in the afterlife, I'm assuming. But no, now we need to go to Shiagora Shrine because that, that campaign is just so cursed and he's like the true mastermind of the invasion. I find it hilarious. So he's kind of supposed to be somewhere in between Bronville and Leowin. Let me go to Southern County Gates and then I'll just continue walking down south and I should hopefully be able to find his shrine. So we want to go south. It makes sense that he's around here if his uh, little strange door is right there. Which I'm wondering if I should do his... Uh, DLC first, or the Knights of the Nine storyline first? Looking for anything. I'm surprised I didn't see it when I was going down the first time to uh, Leowind. But let me just keep track and make sure I'm looking off to the sides a little bit more often, just in case. Oh, also, I do have my... It's a little bit. It doesn't do a ton. But I have my gotta go fast spell. And it fortifies speed a little bit. And it helps a little. It's a little bit faster. As soon as I get my skill up, I think I'll probably be making a new version of this. So where the hell is it? Because there's not a lot of coastline on the east side. No, it's like this road falls on here. So let me kind of go just straight south from where I'm at right now. Stop following the road. And see if he's around here. Because he's always close. Oh, actually, either right up there. I can see it on the little compass. Can't see it specifically yet. It's around here somewhere though. It's directly ahead. Oh, there it is. There's the bastard. Now, what are you gonna want me to do? You always have a lot of fun and interesting things in your head. So let's see what you want me to do, Shiokolath. Let's see. Who do I need to talk to? You guys are all misshapen as all hell. Place? Not place? Here? Not here? Welcome to the Grove of Madness, stranger. Or go away. Who knows? Time will tell. Okay. Killed and ate a Bosmo there. But it made me sick. Saw Lord Sheagorath in the Vomitus. So that's all right. Here to sacrifice? A limb would be nice. Uh, I don't know if I want a second. Then approach the shrine. Of course, he won't appear because it's not raining. He loves the rain. Oh, goddamn, I hate the rain. And you'll need an offering. I think a lesser soul gem, a head of lettuce, and some yarn will do the trick. Yes, that's what Shea Gorath wants. Okay, so there's any number of things he could do want. Test his patience. Well, let me try and see if I can do it without the rain. Don't have the proper offerings. So, what the fuck? Told me I'll need a lesser soul gem, which I know I have. A head of lettuce and some yarn. As an offering to the statue of Shiagora. What the fuck? Okay. Um. Let's see. Ah. Uh, I know I can easily get some lettuce pretty easily. Honestly, I, I should have some lettuce in my house. I'm pretty sure I've collected some of that. So let's go to my house. Pretty sure I've got some lettuce there. And then... There's gotta be some random merchant that might sell some yarn. Let's check the merchant's quarters, or, or the merchant's so, section once we're done here. Because I'm pretty sure I've got a head of lettuce. Otherwise, there's farms all over the place I can just steal one from. Let's see. So in my drawer here, let's see. Do I have lettuce? I'm pretty sure I do. If I've never found lettuce, it's gonna feel really weird. Wait, seriously, so far? Oh, here it is. Okay, so here's a lettuce. A lettuce. And then, just to the merchant section. Try going over there and see if there's somebody that's gonna sell me some yarn. I don't know who the hell I talked to for that. Maybe a general goods. 
because uh, local three brothers trade goods, maybe. I'll try that first. That's something, at least to give it a shot. Because I don't know who else might sell some yarn. Because I know I've got it. Like, I literally have a lesser soul gem on me right now, don't I? Pretty sure I do. Because I picked one up. Oh, I have plenty of. Yeah, I have plenty of lessers. Say. You look like someone that could help us out. H having a bit of trouble with another merchant in town who goes by the name of Thorin here. Oh, I don't care. I don't care about Have a look here. around. <laughs> no, so that's actually an interesting question. In I don't right think now. it is. Ooh. Light on self, resist disease, resist poison, drain speed. Now, where the fuck do I get yarn? Oh, well. well met. Let's like, do business. No. Oh, I could use Thunderbolt. That's not bad. Uh, Farewell. Where the fuck am I gonna get yarn? Like, where the fuck am I supposed to find yarn? The claw. Like, it's not something I ever look for or like notice. So, like, where the hell am I gonna get some yarn? Good day. Like, I could, in the meantime, while I'm trying to find the yarn, go to another one of the data shops because. There is still uh, Vermina's statue and shrine. She is kind of, it looks like directly east of the Imperial City. She is kind of uh, somewhere over here. So I think, honestly, let's just try going there for now because where am I getting yarn? I could just try a different merchant, but let's just do this for now. Oh, wow, I'm like literally right next to it. Holy shit, okay. Oh uh, god, please don't die. So hopefully she has a better request. I might just have to like go into someone's house and try and find Ow. some yarn maybe. I don't know, otherwise I'll just try another merchant. Right now I want to focus on something else that I know I can actually do instead of not knowing where the hell I can get yarn. Because you, you probably have a decent request on what you want as an offering instead of Yarn, a lesser soul Who gem, and head of lettuce. Who dares to walk in the house of shadow? What business do you have with the Lord Vermina? Uh, I want to talk to them. Here we worship Vermina, praying for her to grant us true visions. What is your business here? I want free shit. To speak with Vermina, you must offer a black a soul black gem soul to the Deidre gem. Lord. Ooh, a black soul I gem. I have to find a black soul gem, and I f God damn it. Um... Where am I gonna get a black soul gem? Uh... Because I've used them up before. Shit! Uh... Because I hate that I know I got some black soul gems when I did the necromancy stuff uh, with the Mage of the Guild. I know I'm not gonna be able to like, buy any from them. I know the necromancers made them. Can I do that same thing? Like, uh... was it? Uh, I think Wendelbeck was one of the places they sent me to. I think... So I know there was the whole giant light thing that happens with, da uh, with the uh, areas outside. I'm just trying to remember. I think Wendelbeck, I think that's one thing that I think sounds familiar. Where was that? Because I know that had a day... Uh, one of the... Oh, wasn't it around here? No. That had one of the necromancy, like, uh, coffins in front of it. So, let me find that. And I'm gonna try and see if maybe I can go there. Because if it's got the... It's got the little chest thing outside of it. Or wasn't it out here? It was up here. If it's got one of those... I can use that maybe to make one? Because I feel like it's... If I remember correctly, I think it's supposed to be like... I put in some sort of, like empty soul gem, and it will give me back a black soul gem. So I can at least do this. Oh my god, where the fuck is it? Um, dark Fissure. What's that? It's right nearby. Right near oh! Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I remember this one. Yeah, this is one of the places. So it's got an altar. Altar. Um... Let me try that. Let me see. Uh, I don't... Uh, 
Do I have any empty souls gems? Are mine all full? I mean, mine are all full because I don't know if it'll actually convert it if it's full. Grand, filled to grand, greater, common, greater. Otherwise, I think if I kill a bunch of necromancers, it's supposed to maybe occasionally drop one. So let me go see if maybe in here they might have some. Because uh, I hate that I know I was given some black soul gems and I used them to build my own stuff up. So hi, Mr. Uh, Necromancer, you need to die. And I'm trying to see if I can get some sort of black soul gem on you guys? I don't know. Otherwise, like, I'm probably just gonna have to come back to this these quests a little bit later. Like, I can't do them. I, I think, like, I can't buy the yarn. There, it's gotta be around here randomly as, like, some sort of consumable item I can just find. I wanna drop that. Um, maybe it's, it's probably used as uh, decoration for sure, but let me just try and see if I can kill you guys. Let's just kill the necromancers in here. See if I can find any sort of soul gems on them. If I can't find them in here, uh, I don't know. Like, I don't know how I'm gonna find a black soul gem. Is there any other way to get black soul gems? Because I fucking hate that I know I had some. I had some, for sure. And I used them to just... Ah, uh, I should have saved them. I didn't realize they were gonna be that important. Then again, I never thought I'd need fucking yarn either. Uh what's that? Devour health tone. Oh, what's that? That's gonna be around here. Uh Absorb health on punch. Oh, yeah, sure, fuck it. I'll take that. I'm glad they take that. Now, are there no other necromancers in here? I've just found those three so far. Just in here, does this respawn anything? Ooh, I have any claymore. I don't need it. I have a lot of money. I wonder if there's gonna be maybe any uh, black soul gems in like the DLC. Like I could try and maybe do the Shivering Isles and see if I could find some there. I just don't know if that's gonna be guaranteed. Let's just try and kill some necromancers. Your presence here will not. Otherwise, if I can't find a black soul gem, I don't know how I'm gonna finish this. So far, you guys have been dropping a lot of potions, some scrolls, chests, and gold. So I might just have to go back around and find all the other areas that I know had uh, necromancers and just keep killing them and see if I can find something. I just ate that I I know I had black soul gems and I fucking used them. Uh, there's no other way for an offering, is there? I don't think so, at least. Like, I wonder if maybe they... Oh, well, maybe the Dater Towers might have some. Those are kind of just generated randomly. So far, you guys haven't dropped anything. Fuck. How am I gonna... Uh, so there's two shrines I can't do. That bugs me so much. Okay, but I at least now know this dark fissure is an area. <sighs> Wasn't there, like... I, I feel like I need to go back to the, uh, just the Arcane University, talk to them, and see if there's any what information on Black Soul Gems. I'm getting them. I'm pretty sure there was a book. Did I sell it? I might have sold it. Shit. Because I know I've been to another one of these areas before. Because I went through a lot of them when I was doing the necromancy stuff. I know there was one I remember. Um, so when I was going towards Anvil. I know it was when I was going towards Anvil. And I saw the light in the sky. Uh, I still have combat sound, so I can't fast travel. Because I want to try and go over here and see if I can find one more of these. Because otherwise, I think at this point, if I can't get the materials for these right now... Um, I might as well start trying to do... I'd probably try and do the Knights of the Nine quest first. Which, that would involve me figuring out where the hell everything else is, so I can actually do it. Because I know I have to go to every shrine. Because that's the pilgrimage. I have currently prayed at four of them. 
There, aren't there like nine of them? So I've gotten about half of them. So I've gone to the Way Shrine of Julianos, Dibella, Mara, Zenithar. So I still need to go to a couple more if I want to do that next. Because I might just do that as a way to be, hey, I'm, ex I'm traveling around, trying to figure things out. Because let me just meet you guys. Let's try and go... Can I fast travel yet? Nope. Okay, let me try and... I need to trick the game into letting me fast travel, because there's nobody fucking around me here. There isn't. So I'm going to try... Let me go try going to this Fort uh, Estiros, I guess. It's... I know it's somewhere around here is where I saw that light. And maybe it's that one. I don't know. But like, let me trick the game into letting me fast travel. So, is... Oh, okay, there is one. Okay, yeah, this is the area I was thinking of. So there's another one of these altars. So that means there should be necromancers around this area if I try and clear it out. Is there actually something I can do inside? So again, I want to try and maybe kill some more necromancers. See if I can get an black soul gem? Because otherwise, I don't know how to, like, make one. I know there's something going on with those lights, but I just don't know what's specifically supposed to let me make a black soul gem. I know they're supposed to be like some of the best soul gems, so maybe I need a grand empty soul gem, throw it in there. Probably wait for the light thing and then it'd work maybe? I don't know. But for the moment now at least, I can just keep killing necromancers. Just keep killing you guys. It's not a bad idea to just keep exterminating more necromancers. Uh, Cause hey, uh, I might be able to get a black soul gem off them maybe. I just don't see anything around here. I should also keep an eye out for maybe some random ass fucking yarn. Because I don't know where the hell I'm going to get that. It might be used as a decoration or something. But no, a lot of these dungeons have been respawned, so I can at least check and see. Oh, that's a master one. Ooh. I will take that. I haven't really done much alchemy. I really probably should. I'll just kill you, my necromancer friend. There you go. Because again, I'm trying to see if you guys have anything of interest to me. I just want a black soul gem, god damn it. That's all I want, guys. So at least there's a lot of necromancers in here to try and see if they might have any. Because otherwise, I can try and see if maybe I can take like a grand soul gem. I just need to get an empty one. It's kind of hard, kind of hard to find an empty one when uh, all my spells make it so that I uh, capture people's souls. So I might have to just see if I can just buy a Grand Soul Gem and then try and stick that into one of these areas. So I'll just have to remember that it's the um, Dark Fissure and this fort. These areas have those little altars. And so if I want to make a Black Soul Gem, maybe I have to use those. Still nothing from any of you guys. Killed quite a few of you. I might as well keep checking the chests. If it's related to necromancy, maybe they put them in the chest. Anybody else in here? Anybody else? Another chest. Should be a spell. Another chest. Because if I can't find these items, I'm just going to start trying to do some of the chameleon. Ooh, that's a good bet. Uh, I'm just going to start trying to do the DLC. And I think we'll start off with the Knights of the Night first. I just have to look and see where those other shrines are. Kind of like what I'm doing with the Daedra shrines right now, where it's just like, hey, I want to make sure that we can go through these, and I don't want to just keep scouring the map and have no idea where they are. So I'll just look up where they are on the map. Or at least get a rough idea of where they are. Oh, come on, how many more are there in here? That just leads back around that way. At least I'm getting a lot of potions. I have a ridiculous amount of potions in here right now because of these. Because I've been killing so many necromancers. And you guys usually have like three potions per. It's beautiful. But it's like, guys, I need a black soul gem. I don't need more potions. I need more soul gems. Hi there. I'm gonna kill you, Mrs. Necromancer. Come on. Does any of you have a goddamn soul gem? Most potion reflection. Master door. Getting a lot of those master level ones. Another person over there. Uh, more potions. I am out of magic myself. I'll probably just start actually using these potions soon. She's dead. Matter adept. Any 
Storm. I don't care about any of those items, honestly. I'm so rich at this point, I don't need to pick things up. I only need to pick things up if I start running out of money. There's random ass zombies, skeletons. No, I think this place is pretty much empty. Damn it. I was hoping I might be able to get a black soul gem from this. Ah, uh, it's supposed to be. Oh, there's still more. Eh, I, I can't speak yet, just until they're all dead. So you're dead. More potions of healing. A lot of scrolls. I have so many goddamn scrolls. Uh, honestly, I should actually summon a Dynamotaden here. You guys are... There's a lot of you. And uh, I might die if I just keep using up all my stuff. Also, you guys give me so many potions of... Jesus. Dynatod, get up here. This was a little bit easier to help deal with them. No, get back here, Mr. Necromancer. No, die. Sometimes I can hit you. Eh. How could I miss you? Damn it. There we go. Uh, just more potions. Fireball. Um, mute. Huh. Skeleton Champion Tome. Ooh. And there's more potions. I really do feel like I'm not going to get anything just killing necromancers like this. Doesn't feel like it. God damn it. I just want to do all the danger shrines. It's like, ah, this is just one limitation. Like, the Black Soul Gem, that I can understand. That needs to be difficult to get. But where the fuck is some yarn? Like, seriously. Uh, more potions. Another dude. Maybe we need to find a high level necromancer. Maybe that'll have a black soul gem. But you all just are just necromancers or necromancers adepts and crap. Get back here while the stuff is still on you. No, it's down. Ah, damn it, keep missing. There goes one. Okay, I need more magicka. Thankfully, you guys keep giving me plenty of fucking potions. There we go. Just more potions. This is a great way to farm potions, though. My god. You guys have so many on you. And it takes me less than three potions to really kill you guys. So, like, two casts of my ability, and then I just hit you a couple times. You guys keep giving me at least two potions, two or three potions of magicka and of healing. Nothing in there. What's in this one? Oh, there's more potions. Anything up here? Another chest, just some gold. Barrel. Oh, fuck yarn! Look at that! Okay, well, we got the yarn. I can actually do Shiogora's thing now. I don't have the Black Soul Gem, but I've got yarn. I wonder, did I maybe store some of these in my house? I wonder. I'm pretty sure I used up all the Black Soul Gems, but I'm curious if I maybe stored them in my house, because I have a lot of these. What's the matter, getting tired? That might be something I'll check. Let me try and have it so that... Let's go do Shigora's thing now. Because he's at least... I can now go do his thing. I can at least do his. We now know that we have everything for him. I'll still have to find a black soul gem. But that's something we can try and keep in mind during our travels and explorations. Um, if we're able to be like, oh, okay, here, look, here's a black soul gem. Or maybe if I find another empty grand soul gem, I can try the idea of... I'm trying to see if I can put it into one of these altars. So let's go back to Shiagora. So let me switch to his quest. No, no, no. I'm here. Shiagora. Because you, I can at least do yours. We're so close to being done with all these shrines, but now we're just getting to the point where it's just like, oh. Uh, yeah, here you go, man. I got all your shit. It's raining even. Another mortal dares to summon me. And already. I'm bored, but enough about me. Let's talk about you. I can turn you into a goat, or a puddle, or a 
I could make you eat your own fingers! Or fall in love with a clown? Okay. Perhaps I could make you into something useful. Let's find out. Also, he sounds very, like, dwarvish, like, generic There's dwarvish for, uh, a fantasy watch. game. It's a nice, peaceful place. And dull! 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 They're going to make their lives interesting. So what am I doing? I just stripped a countess and her guests. An what, do you, what do you want me to do? Let's make one come true. Find okay. their sham. Uh, is this... And ask about the Kashara prophecy. Oh, rain just immediately stopped? Okay. You are to find a way to make the first two parts of the prophecy come true. I'll take care of the rest, because it's the most fun. Now, run along! Okay. So, we need to go to Border Watch, which I'm pretty sure I remember where that is. Yeah, it's okay, it's just south of us here. And what's the quest say? So, after I left, I requested an item to the shrine. So, if me told me to go to the settlement of Border Watch, I am to simulate a prophecy by coming into X. I should speak to the shaman in the summit to learn about the Kashara prophecy. Well, yeah, I'm curious what that's going to be about. Gotta love that my brain is trying to mimic Ishio Gorath's fucking. Um. His accent now, almost a little bit, because he sounded dwarfish a little bit. Do they still use the same voice actor into the Shimmery Niles expansion? Shimmery Niles expansion? I'm assuming that they would. Um, it'd kind of be a shame if they didn't, because I know for myself I kind of like that actor. Let's see. There is also, it looks like a Daedra portal. Ah, right there. Let me quickly go in here and see what's going on and what kind of sigil we can get. So I'll continue on my way towards Border to watch with you guys in just in one moment. And now what kind of sigil stone did I get from that one? Because you guys, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. It's all the way down to the bottom. So, is this magic? I think it was this. No, I think it was. Wait. Oh no, now I just have another one for T. Uh, why can't I get another one that has uh, the Fortify Magicka? Because I want more of those. I want to be able to. Because if I can just give myself a shit ton of magic, I can make whatever spell I want for certain effects on my armor. Because, like. I don't need to have magic arm or armor that has uh, magic on it, uh, or sorry, has the shield spell on it, if I have just enough magic uh, that I can just make a shield spell that I can just keep continuously on. Because right now my magic is only about 300, it's actually pretty low actually, and I could have it be higher um, and just have it regen more based on that. So eventually I want to try and replace everything with that, let's see, so this is... You, I'm just gonna trespass, I don't fucking care. Yeah, let me just talk to you. Oh, I still need to pay back the stuff for Leowen. Uh, hi. Welcome to Border Watch, stranger. You're welcome here. I am Rabasa, shaman of our people. Yes, yes. I want to know about a prophecy. You know of the Kashara prophecy? How odd. I am a mage, after all, my man. Scholar? My good sir. Yes, I am. I enjoy ridiculous prophecy. I am a traveling spot. Wonderful. I would be glad to tell you more. It has been told from our fathers and our fathers' fathers that our time in this place will come to an end. Huh. My great-great-great-grandfather, Kishara, foretold of a time when we would receive three signs from the gods Signaling the end of the world. Okay. Um, what are the three signs? These are the signs as they were foretold. First, there is the plague of vermin. It is said our town will be overrun by disease carrying creatures. So I somehow need to bring in a bunch of rats. Rats, I would imagine. Horrible little things. I always keep a powerful rat poison around in case I see one of the little monsters. So I'm not sure what's going on with your eyes, my man. Next is the plague of famine. It is foretold that our livestock will fall dead in their fields with no apparent explanation. Okay. We have but the six sheep in our pasture, and we make sure they are well tended. And a third sign, what's up? The plague of fear. I will not speak of this. Not to any outsider. I'll answer anything else I can. Is there something more? 
Um. Perhaps uh, you'd like to know more about Border Watch itself. That might help me in trying to figure out what's going on. I'm glad you asked. I could go on all day about our little community. We are but a handful of Khajiit, as you can see. Okay. Many are the evenings we spend around the cooking fire, sharing stories of elsewhere. The smell of our food travels for miles. If you'd like to stay, I'd suggest getting a room at the Border Watch Inn. We don't get many visitors, but Setasa serves a fine ale. Yes, let me get, just get drunk she with the people that I'm the about to ruin her life. She of cheeses in the Empire. Her prized cheese has such a powerful aroma. She keeps it sealed in a case. Huh. Okay. This is important information. That she has a very pungent cheese. Maybe I use that to summon the uh, rats. Uh, let me leave here. You know what? Let's go to the inn. Let's go to the inn. Because I want to wait out this weather. Um, uh, let's see. Where's the inn? This little place. Ah. Uh, there's another house. There's a fire that he was talking about. Another person's house, house. Oh, where's the inn? That doesn't look like an inn. Oh no, actually that is the inn. Okay, so let's go in here. And I probably have to steal this pungent cheese. Display case, display case. Lots, lots of cheeses. Oh, is the person not here? Oh, she's sleeping. Oh, oh. Let's see. So, let's see, so Ravasa suggested I stay at the Boardwatch Inn, which apparently has a large collection of cheeses. Not sure why. Let's see, so, the shamanist has told me, oh, the prophecy, the first sign is vermin infestation, the second is a plague, and all the livestock are supposed to die. I need to find a way to create a infestation of vermin. So I'm assuming that it'd be pretty, can you stop seeing me? That'll be pretty easy to do the whole second aspect. It's the first one that's more difficult. Um, it's how do I make it so that I get the vermin? Assuming these are the rooms that I'd be able to stay in, but I'm curious if there's anything interesting inside of them. Doesn't look like it. So I'm going to first talk to the owner of this fine establishment and then we'll kind of figure out from there maybe because i feel Welcome like a cheese to the, border is to the uh, we don't rats. get many visitors please feel free to stay a while take a seat or feel free to look around we have a fine collection of cheeses here some of the rarest in all tamriel okay what can you tell me about this cheese it's been a hobby of mine for years I've collected cheeses from all over Tamriel, including the rare Olroy cheese. Okay, what's so important A about more it? pungent cheese you'll never find. It looks smooth, but it stinks to the heavens and beyond. Hmm. I keep it locked away tight. If I were to try cooking with it, the smell alone would draw ah. rats for miles. It's a lovely conversation piece, though. I see, I see. Let me try There's and get a, a bed, wait out the night, the and night. then we. It seems like what I need to do is take the cheese. Okay then. And number one, right try and uh, craft Keep it and cook well. it with something. Maybe with the the fire. Hmm. Bye. So we'll wait out the day. So I don't know which bed. Okay, it looks like this is the bed that she gave me. Uh, so I'll have to steal her. Damn it! I'll have to steal her cheese, and then. Maybe I need to... I don't know if I have to cook it myself, or I have to try and cook it... Um, oh, I should have waited a little longer. Um, or cook it with while they're all uh, telling their stories. I don't know. Um, let's just try and wait until morning, and then I need to steal her cheese. Interesting quest drive to steal cheese. So let's get out of here. Okay, so... Welcome what can you tell me about Border Watch itself, though? Can you tell me anything? No. Only quality can goods buy for some sale stuff here. You can buy some cheese. I want more you cheese. Too. And so the question is, 
Yeah, because I know that he was saying that, hey, we tell stories all the time. Uh, there was this, like, one fire around here. God, some of you guys are just... Oh, it's funny when you guys start walking around with random-ass shit that's Alvin, Daedric, and all that. Let's see, so... Somebody else I can maybe talk Welcome to. to you can't tell me anything about Border Watch. Something Farewell. I can do for you. Welcome to. Is there any? Oh, An intriguing this. fellow from what I heard. Oh, this is about the Anvil Prophet thing. That's not important. Well, seeing you, you heard any news from the other uh, provinces? Uh, like oh, oh, okay. So there's the. So what I think I need to do. Okay, let's wait until night. I have an idea. So wait until night. I don't know if it matters when I do this specifically, but I'll wait until like 8 p.m. technically. I'm assuming that if I take the seat cheese and activate the cooking pot, technically it'll be a way for me to try and get all the rats here. I don't know if it, yeah, I just don't know if the Your people need to be out and about bad. when I'm doing this stuff here. Go. Let's start with the try and get her cheese. I love how she just doesn't notice that I took it. Also, I'm gonna steal this cheese too. Might as well. Cheese wedge, cheddar cheese, marble cheese, cheddar cheese, marble cheese. Let's see, they've got uh, blue cheese. I didn't know they had so many cheeses in uh, Oblivion. So I'm gonna take all of your cheese. Don't mind me. And then I'll leave. You're always welcome in Border One. Yes, yes. So good. There's still some people out and about. Uh, place the order choosing this cooking pot. It's you. Hail. Red Spring. You're always um, welcome in Border One. Nothing's one. happening. Five songs of King oh, God. <laughs> there they come. Interesting. That's a lot of rats. <laughs> yeah, here's a plague of rats, guys. Of course. Nobody, nobody cares. Nobody cares. There's just a bunch of rats running about, and nobody cares. Okay. So I placed the cooking spells coming from. It is astounding. You think? There we go. So see, I use cheese to lure many rats into Border Watch. I should speak with your bosses to see if he believes this is part of the prophecy. Nothing I do. Ah, yes. Uh, where is he? Good day. What's the news from? No time to talk. I have to get rid of these rats. Oh no! How will you? Nothing I'd like to talk about. Uh, rat poison. Goodbye. I'm gonna take the rat poison and. Could it be the Kashara? Everybody else thinks it is. I guess maybe I should actually leave the rat poison down. Although, what are these effects of it? I'm curious. Is it under here? Rat poison. Rat poison. I'll leave the rat poison here and have you guys see if you'll interact with it at all. You've seen it. You've seen the first sign. Perhaps. This is the beginning of the Kashara. It might just be, man. It might just be. This certainly seems like one of the signs. It is unnatural to have this many rats gather in one place. Don't mind the uh, cheese smell. I can only hope that the rat poison I have put down will take care of them all. It is a powerful poison, though, so it should do the trick. Well, let's hope it does. Bye. Okay, so that's him confirming that he thinks this is part of the first. So, oh, there they go. Are they all going to just keel over? They are a lot slower now. I was kind of hoping that, honestly, they'd start trying to kill each other. Like, they'd start trying... Oh, here's some of the shit. There's nobody around, right? Did he not confirm that it was... Part of the first sign? Okay, it's like it's not triggering the next section of the quest. So I want to make sure we have that confirmed Seated. just in case. Yeah, I know that is. This certainly I can only hope that I guess maybe I have to talk to him later. Once you the too. poison's done its work. Maybe. But I think for now, uh, I'm actually gonna be done with this video for now. We'll continue uh, this prophecy in the next video. Continue Shiagora's thing. And then I'm probably gonna start honestly, maybe start doing the Shiver Niles. 
start doing that, and then um, from there we'll just try and find a black uh, soul gem and see what we can find. So I'm going to end this for now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, maybe like, comment, and or subscribe. If you guys did not, please let me know why so I can try and improve. Also check out my Discord. It's a great way to interact with the rest of my community and get updates on videos. Additionally, there are plenty of other ways to continue to my channel in the description, so you can check that out. This is Rampant, and I'll see you guys next time.